Hello, and welcome to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. And today we're going to begin a series of uh, Lambic beers from uh, the brewery, which is called Lindemans in Belgium. Uh, we're going to look at five different fruited Lambics, and then finally we will look at their Faro, which is a, uh, a sugared Lambic. And I'm going to look at them in order of alcohol strength, just uh, for no reason, except that we're moving up the scale. These are all very, very low alcohol. The uh, first one will start out at 2.5% alcohol, in fact. Uh, Lindemans is located uh, uh, a few kilometers outside of Brussels, and they are well known for their lambics and their uh, artisanal gins, which they make as well. Uh, they've been going since 1822, and they're now in their sixth generation of family brewers, uh, and so quite a, quite a history. Um, they're most famous for these fruited lambics, but they also make a few other styles that are considered much, uh, much more highly, I think. Um, in, in any case, lambic is a beer which uh, undergoes what's called spontaneous fermentation. Uh, in other words, it's not inoculated with uh, yeast, uh, as uh, most beer is, to produce alcohol and flavors and aromas. Um, what happens is the, the uh, beer is brewed, often a uh, uh, combination of barley and wheat, uh, and, and the, after the wort is boiled and cooled, uh, they take it up to uh, a higher area up higher in the house or the brewing area and spread it out into some shallow cooling trays. Uh, uh, the Dutch word is cool ship and in English it somehow just become a folk translation, cool ship. Um, these are large, uh, very wide cooling trays and the, the uh, cool, the wort is set up there to cool overnight and the windows uh, dormers are opened and the wild yeast floats in and inoculates the wort. Uh, and the area around Brussels has a uh, concentration of uh, very strong wild yeast. Uh, the most commonly known one is called Brett or Brettanomyces. And uh, it's a wild yeast. And so it comes in on the wind with maybe some other microflora. Um, and then after one night, it's put into fermenters, uh, into lar very large uh, wooden barrels called foders. And it's fermented for about six months there. Uh, some places use foders. Uh, and for example, Rodenbach is very famous for having a lot of foders. Uh, and others use stainless steel and throw in wood chips to provide the, the wood atmosphere, the wood uh, effect on the beer. And after, after about six months or so, uh, it is matured in, uh, for an additional six months. And then uh, some lambics are bottled and others are blended to make uh, what's called goose. And goose is a blend of young and old lambics. So they may take a one-year-old lambic and blend it with a three-year-old lambic and and uh, try to create some interesting flavors. Uh, this is the real magic, I think, of, of uh, uh, making an interesting beer, uh, very similar to what winemakers do. Uh, the wood is also similar to what winemakers do as well. But blending, it's a kind of a, a point where the science leaves off and the art takes over, or maybe we could say craft takes over, uh, deciding when and how much of each part of the, the age of the lambic should be put into another age and, and that's that sort of thing. Um, and so uh, Lindemans produces a variety again of fruit lambics and they also produce some other beers you may be more interested in. The fruit lambics are not terribly exceptional uh, in quality. They're interesting, but not the best. Uh, if you can find their Goose uh, Cuvée Varnay, or one they make with Mikeller, which is called Spontan Basil, or uh, their Old Lambic. Uh, any of those three will give you a very different experience, I think. Okay, 
So uh, this is just a brief introduction to Lindemans, and now we're going to move on to the first of the uh, fruited lambics. Okay, so our, our second beer, I'm sorry, our third beer is going to be uh, Lindemann's apple, or uh, in French, palm. And this is a, uh, a lambic, a fruited lambic, uh, like all the ones we're going to review, except for the faro. And they've been making this one since 2005, so it's their, their youngest one in their lineup. Uh, so it's a lambic fruited at 3% alcohol. And this one includes a mix of several apple varieties with a one-year-old Lambic, or Lambic that's at least one year old. So there may be some other blends in there too, as well. This beer has 1,375 ratings on Rate Beer, an average rating of 3.16 out of five, and 42 percentile for all beers and only 18% for its style, which is lambic uh, fruited here. So let's uh, let's give this one a go. It's the apple lambic from Lindemans. Okay. So it's definitely a certain kind of light apple juice color, uh, completely clear all the way through. And even less than, less than a half a finger, kind of filmy, clear white foam. <clears throat> carbonation, very tiny carbonation rising, kind of hard to see. Turn the light around here. There you can see it. So tiny carbonation rising on the bottom. Okay. And let's see the aroma. Uh, certainly apples kind of sour. Mm. A little bit of funky, maybe armpit. Uh, some yeast for sure. Uh, I'm going to say something like mint maybe. Mm. Okay, so again, this is uh, made with, uh, you know, wild yeast uh, and then fruited up uh, with uh, quite a lot of fruit into the mix. Flavor is medium sour. Apple. Mid palate continues with a little bit of kind of hard sugariness, I think, to it. Final is lightly sour. Um, this is refreshing. Uh, it's thin, very lightly astringent. Uh, maybe a small lactic note. Mid palate and final lactic note comes out. Fairly refreshing. Um, you know, on a hot day, you could pound a few of these easily uh, at three percent alcohol. Who cares? Uh, so. Uh, if you're interested in these, if, if you uh, are not interested, or if you haven't had Lambics before, uh, Lindemann's Fruited Lambics, the whole series of them, are pretty easy going for a Lambic. Uh, if you're a Lambic lover, uh, these are probably not to your taste. Um, Lambic is a very distinctive style. Uh, it, I don't think it's ever going to be a uh, mass market popular beer, but it's certainly one of the more interesting and unusual type styles of beer that you get in the world. And these are an easy entry to that. Lindemann's Apple Lambic 3% from Lindemann's in Belgium. Okay, that's it for today. Please leave me a comment and uh, tell me what you think and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more. Uh, we're going to be doing several more Lim Lindemann's beers and then probably getting back to a variety of Japanese beers, Japanese craft beers. Okay, that's all. Bye-bye. <laughs>